Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today this is going to be a bit of a smaller build than normal. I don't often do these single bedroom apartments but I decided to do something a little bit different this time around and something that would just be a bit easier because I knew I was a little bit more limited on time this week to get this build finished. Honestly, I'm not really sure what exactly inspired me to do this more concrete style. I think the desk in the other room, just that gray swatch, I was like, oh, this is kind of fun to do something more um, brutalist style, I guess, where it's just very, very like concrete and I guess you could say almost cold looking, but I wouldn't say this build style is cold because I often try to make sure even my more modern builds look lived in and have some personality to them because it just looks a little too museum-like when I don't do that. So yeah, this is the entryway and then there's a big kind of open concept living area with the kitchen, dining, and living and office actually, and then a bathroom and a bedroom. I struggled a little bit with the floor plan on this one um, just because I didn't know how to put the doors. I kind of had the floor plan down straight away I'm pretty sure but the doors were a big struggle for me and then I added platforms because I just thought it looked cool and I could kind of separate the rooms out a little bit using the Soho set. So this is the little bathroom. Um, it is a full bathroom, it has a shower, a tub. A toilet and a sink which is kind of good because it's not a huge bathroom by any means um, but I like to try to add both a shower and tub separately whenever I can because as someone who really enjoys taking baths I don't know if I'd be able to live with just a shower I think that would be difficult for me so I like to treat my sims the way I'd like to be treated and give them all a bathtub as well so yeah, we carry this kind of very gray concrete and kind of a tan, a light tan wood color throughout the entire apartment as well as green. That kind of came in last minute to be honest. Um, originally I was just going to be those two colors, the wood color and the gray concrete and some white. And then I struggled <laughs> like I always do with kind of just making it look a little more unique to other builds I've done which yeah that's honestly a struggle I have almost every single time that I start a build because I, now that I have my channel I like to make sure I give you guys some variety because it's very easy to get stuck in this cycle I guess of doing really similar styles and similar layouts and stuff and yeah I just I want to make sure I don't get stuck in that and keep things a little bit fresh every week. I know I have some things that help me like Pinterest, I have a subscription to Architectural Digest, uh, I have one at the moment little like coffee table book about like the um just kind of shows you all the different colors and stuff you can do inside your home I definitely want to get some more of those because I think it's kind of fun and then I guess YouTube as well just like watching certain channels that I enjoy um, that just show off architecture and stuff and interior design I always think that's really good if you're trying to get inspired for builds and you're not like someone who enjoys watching or like who cannot like watch other simmers and then just not want to straight out copy what they do because I know I struggle with that sometimes or I see other builders do things that are like really cool and then I want to do something like that but because I have a channel if I do something like that I have to like put a little bit of my own spin onto it so that it's not a straight copy from someone else. So as you'll see, I actually made a custom coffee table. I believe those little benches are from Hey Harry's Coastal set They're with like the bed, the bedroom set. And I just pushed them together to make this kind of interesting looking coffee table. And I think that's really cool because I often struggle with coffee tables in this game. It's like coffee tables and beds and rugs. I've always struggled with rugs for some reason. I can never find 
like at least once in every build there's one room where I cannot find the rug that I want to use almost like clockwork every single time I just struggle so much with it um it used to be that way with couches but I feel like I've got enough couches like variety of couches in my game now that that's not so much a problem anymore I remember before I started building with CC like it would take me forever to pick out like everything it still takes me a long time because I'm kind of a perfectionist but I try I try to rein it in a little bit because yeah it <sighs> like guys I think this build took me over a week to do and it's not even a big build but yeah that's <laughs> kind of how it goes sometimes when I'm not 100% focusing on one build or just building in general so this is the final room in the build the bedroom uh while we work on this i just want to thank you guys so so much for watching to the end of this video i know it was a bit of a short one i'll have a longer one for you guys next time for sure don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and also check out my patreon in the description below for the tray files and the cc list and if you want to support the channel you can also do that there as well i very much appreciate that and Oh, what else? I always forget you guys when I'm doing these outros because I don't write it down for myself. Oh, also the gallery. If you'd like to download this off the gallery, I will have it as rooms on the gallery at Lindsay Builds, same as my channel name. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!